you want to be on hormone replacement therapy, but you have a uterus and have special considerations that need to be addressed. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women, so let's talk about it. When you go on hormone replacement therapy, the estrogen is the one that's gonna do all the heavy lifting of reducing the symptoms that you want gone. But if you have a uterus, you can't just take it alone. You have to still take it with progesterone. And progesterone is meant to keep the uterine lining exceptionally thin so that it doesn't overgrow and become something precancerous or cancerous. So how can you take progesterone? Because you heard that there's a few different ways and some may cause symptoms or no symptoms and you want to know what's best for you. You can take oral micronized progesterone, which is the most similar to what you make inside of your own body. It's an oral pill. You take it at night. It can make you a little bit sleepy. You can also take micronized progesterone and place it in the vagina or in the rectum if you really want to do that. That provides enough hormone to the uterus to prevent any significant complications or problems with the uterine lining. The other ways that you can do this are a progesterone containing IUD and we've done studies to look at transdermal progesterone and most of them on their own are not significant enough to really keep the lining thin enough to control that excess lining. However, there is a combined estrogen and progesterone patch that does have decent data to keep the uterus protected while providing estrogen and progesterone in one single patch. It is not generic, so it does have less favorable insurance coverage.